Hey, what's up everybody? It's your mortgage expert, Brian McCauley here. So are you trying to buy a big house, but you only want to put a little bit of money down? Stick around. I'm going to show you how in this video. So as the housing market continues to rise, so do prices of homes. And people are wondering in today's market, you know, how do I buy such a big house that I like, but I don't wanna spend all my money on my down payment. I don't have 10% down, I don't have 20% down. When you get into these larger home amounts, sometimes these investors want more money down. There is a secret to getting a big house with only putting a little bit of money down, and it's called a combination loan. Combination loans are really, really good loans for people that are trying to buy larger houses. They can't meet the minimum down payment requirements of 10 or 20%, but they still wanna obtain the house. So you can get a combination loan. Let's talk about an example. Let's say that somebody wants to buy an $800,000 house. If they wanna do that as one single loan, a jumbo loan, they would have to do minimum 10% down, which means they'd have to come out of pocket at least $80,000 plus the closing cost. If you do a combination loan, you can actually do 5% down, but you have to combine a first mortgage and a second mortgage. So what does that look like? We'll use the example for 800,000. If somebody wants to put 5% down, they would get a first loan for 647,000, which is the maximum for a single conforming loan. They would put 5% down, which would be 40 grand. So that would leave them with a $760,000 loan amount. So you take the 760 minus the 647, that leaves you with a second lien of 113,000. So right there, you have proof of a combination loan. You combine a first loan of 647, a second loan of 113, that gets you to 760,000, and the buyer puts down the difference, which is the 5%. It is a very great strategic way to buy a big house with put a little bit down. Now, this doesn't necessarily apply to just big houses, but it's more favorable and popular because if you're buying a smaller house, obviously you can come out of pocket more money. So I wanna talk about some pros and some cons to combination loans. It's called CLTV, combination loan to value. So number one, obviously the biggest pro is you can buy a big house, a million dollar house, 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2. Another Another one of the pros is when you're doing a combination loan, you are allowed to waive taxes and insurance. So if you don't want your taxes and insurance included in the payment, you can put those aside. That helps the buyer with cash flow. It also saves on closing cost fees. Let's talk about the downside to combination loans. So the interest rates are higher on those loans because they're in second lien position. Why does that matter? Well, the way that these investors think are if this person's doing maximum financing and we're in second lien position, if for some reason this house forecloses the people can't make their payments, they are second in line to get repaid. So because the risk is higher, the interest rate is higher on that loan. Normally the interest rates on those second loans range anywhere from a percent to 2% higher than the first lien. So if the first lien was five and a half, the second lien might be anywhere from six and a half to seven and a half. That all depends upon your loan to value. That depends upon your FICO score. That depends upon all the other variables that are determined by a home loan, but they are a little bit higher. Most of those are 3015 balloon notes. So what do I mean by that? So if you get a 30 year fixed mortgage, that interest rate and that payment is fixed for 30 years, 360 months. That's all that's due and you can stretch it out over that long period of time. If you get a second lien, it is a 3015 balloon note. What does that mean? That means the payments on that second lien are amortized over a 30 year payment, but they're only amortized through 15 years. At the end of 15 years, the entire rest of the note becomes due. So you have a big balloon payment that's due at the end of 15 years. Most people don't know that, but you gotta be mindful of that when getting a second lien. So those are some pros and cons. They're becoming more popular in today's market where the housing prices are increasing, loan amounts are increasing, and people wanna keep their money at least close to their chest right now until they figure out exactly what's gonna happen with this economy so that way they don't part ways with all their cash flow. Something to remember about combination loans that I do for all the clients, I remind them that this is normally not a forever home loan structure program because the second loan interest rate is a lot higher and because they're 3015 balloons, people don't wanna stay in them for a long period of time. Most people usually keep them for anywhere from two to three years. They usually set up a strategy with me after the fact to figure out a way to refinance it once they have some more equity in the property or once they're in a stronger financial position to refinance those two loans back down to one loan that has more favorable terms, that eliminates all the risk, that puts them in a better financial and equity position. So 
If you're out there and you're considering buying a big house, but you only want to put a little bit of money down, consider a combination loan. Again, it's a great way to get the house that you want, not put a ton down, keep some cash flow in your pocket and understand it's a short term play to kind of have what you want and not spend as much as you need. So listen, if you found this combination loan video helpful, do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment. If you've got any questions directly just about your home loan position, financial strategy, or just wanna set up a consultation with myself or the team, do me a favor and reach out. Call us, email us, text us, we're always here to help. Until next time, stay tuned.